So I work on environmental DNA, which is a really fantastic new tech, new tool for measuring biodiversity or biology as a whole. And the way it works is that you basically um, take an environmental sample, which is, it could be a water sample, a soil sample, a leaf sample, and you squish it all up and extract DNA from that sample. And the DNA that you get out is not just the DNA of the sample itself, the leaf, but DNA of all the organisms that are within, say, the soil, or have passed over that sample in the past. Because whenever we walk through or whenever an earthworm goes through a soil, it leaves a trace of DNA behind, and we can use that DNA to identify those species. So this, the, this tool is really, um, has really great use um, in New Zealand for uh, by people wanting to know about biodiversity. So from a typical uh, a traditional perspective in terms of conservation value, um, Department of Conservation is really keen on wanting to know what the effect of rodent control is on biodiversity and they go out and they measure the plants and the birds because that's what you can see. But typically it's really hard to go out and measure the invertebrates or the, uh, the small um, uh, organisms because they're really hard to assess. Um, so environmental DNA can provide a tool for them to actually measure the vast majority of biodiversity that isn't usually um, captured within traditional monitoring. And so I think, believe environmental DNA is a really cool new approach that will actually um, help people understand about the biodiversity, the, the, the shared diversity of life that there is um, in, the, in, in these environments.